the beat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mocha, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. We're back with another wig therapy. I'll be doing a Five by five culture wig install with some glam wand curls. So if you're interested in seeing how I pull this look together, because you know it's gonna be flawless, just keep on watching. But before you do that, make sure to subscribe to your girl's channel. I'll wait for you. I know you did, right? Thank you. Make sure to give me a like at the end of the video and drop your thoughts in the comments on how you feel about this install. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back. So we about to get into this wig install. You already know I'm about to do the basics because I just like lately I just like my hair or when I put on my wigs to be easy and go. Plus I like to take my wigs off at nighttime. So I am not doing the ball cap. I'm going in with the regular brown cap that I use in almost every video lately. I just put that on. This wig is from my collection. It is a 1B water wave. Um, five by five closure wig. I did go in and throw some blonde color in there because I just wanted a pop of color. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pluck my hairline because I really didn't pluck or anything. I just bleached the knots. As you can see, the knots are over bleached, but we gonna fix that. Don't worry about that, okay? So I'm just gonna go in and do a little bit of customization. You already know, when it comes to my installs, I want you guys to understand, like I like to do the bare minimum i don't like to go ahead and do a lot of things because i'm the type of person i like to take my wigs off at nighttime okay so if you do follow my tutorials they my tutorials are helpful for beginners it's helpful if you someone who just want to slay your wigs for the day with minimum products and minimum time like i'm not here telling you how to do the whole yard okay so just follow through my videos and i'm pretty sure you will be slaying your wigs in no time so just sit back chill and watch me work the magic Stop looking for pro with this product i just saw it in the beauty supply store and i wanted to try it so what you're supposed to do to get like uh if your knots are over bleach you use the spray and it's supposed to be like a root cover up and it helps to fix your over bleach knots so especially when you're doing like a middle part so you're supposed to put your comb in the center of your part and spray it but as you can see it turned my lace dark so I had to go in and fix it, and what I did, I used my concealer, I believe, is the color Chestnut in the LA Girl concealer, concealer, and I used a brush, and I just went in the concealer through my part, and it was fixed in no time. Easy, my part is clean, it's long, just how I like it, so it was an easy fix. I will use the product again, but I just think I have to learn how to use the product, because making my lace that color, I was not feeling it. I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair and no, I'm not curling my wig on my head because I just need to know what the back of my hair looks like, okay? You're going to go in and just brush the hair out. You want to brush out all the waves, all the curls because it's easier to wand it when everything is brushed out. Use a little bit of oil, guys. Not a lot. Like you saw that little dime size I used? A little bit. When it comes to curling your hair with the wand waves, the wand glam, you just want to twist the hair around the wand. Hold it for about 5 seconds, 5 to 10 seconds on the wand. And when you pull it off the wand, you want to hold it in your hand. If it's too hot, make sure to use a glove, but I'm a pro at this. And you're just going to let it go. And look how beautiful that one curl is and i'm gonna do it throughout the entire head i like to use got to be to set my curls hey some people say it makes their hair hard if you spray it not too close to the curl your hair won't be hard i promise you we're making that wig as flat because y'all know i love a flat wiggy and look <laughs> looking fabulous already Come take a chance. Oh, 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 oh,
Using the olive oil whipped grip spray, I'm gonna spray that on the lace. I'm not gonna spray it on the hair because you don't want the hair to be hard. So just spray it in front of the hairline and of course you're gonna go in with your blow dryer so it can just rush the process. I do love this spray because it do not make the hair hard and it dries really, really fast. I prefer to use this spray over the got to be spray as well. It has a nice scent to it. Who don't like to use products with good scents, you know? So that's my preference right now when it comes to laying my wigs down. I like to use this spray, especially for like a one day wig install or something like that. Because like I said, I like to take my wigs at, off at nighttime. And all you have to do at nighttime is put water on it and it lifts right up with no issues. I'm gonna put on my wig band to lay my lace down. And what I'm gonna do is, you see how I'm pulling the curls out? Because you don't want the curls to be so uniform. If you like uniform curls, then leave it. But I just want my curls to be a little bit more bigger. So I'm just gonna go in and pull the curls out. I'm gonna run my hands through it. And just maneuver the curls to my liking. However you curl your hair, if you like tight curls, if you like the curls to be more neat, uniform, just do it to how you like it. Me, personally, I like my curls to be big. Y'all, I did the baby hair. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did the baby hair. Oh wow. Yeah, today's a good hair day. Can we look at the baby hair? I cut it, I didn't even record it because I thought it was gonna come out stupid. But it actually didn't. Oh my god. Alright, what did I do? See? You know what it is? When you don't be recording stuff and you just be in your zone, shit just be happening for you. And watch it ain't even gonna work this time for me. I took my hot comb and I almost burnt myself. <laughs> this is the tutorial. I took the hot comb and I almost burnt myself. Then I took it the razor comb it went down and I think I cut too much anyways then I took some got to be and put it at the top like these and then I started souping and some pieces was too long so I went in with my little scissors I got that does be handy dandy and I started cutting all those small pieces away and then I went in and started swooping again. <sighs> yep. Your girl elevated. y'all guys what the end look is looking like i am totally in a rush to get somewhere so i'm gonna insert videos of me looking cute cute but this is what my hair is looking like it's definitely giving glam i hope you guys really really enjoyed this tutorial if you guys didn't get what i was doing when it came to wand curling you basically just twist it the hair as you go around the wand. I'm gonna insert a video that I previously made of me um, wand curling my hair. It's definitely the same type of technique I use. I don't do nothing different. Um, and that's really it. It's just, this is like a nice going out kind of style. We want like a little bit glammed up. So I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial. Okay, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next 
video or vlog. Thank you for watching. Bye.